we had previously recorded this yesterday. So I am going to redo, which it's good because, okay, okay. So I'm going to redo the episode because it will still all be new to me. I haven't watched any videos or anything. She's watching me play the game. She can hear it. I've seen it. I haven't heard it. Get ready, get set, here it comes, guys. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world, and their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. 
And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh. Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah. I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. Huh? You're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. And you did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right, oh, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah, uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Guys, we're supposed to be a team here. It's our adventure night. Sorry, Jesse. It's just that things are different now. You got your life, and we got ours. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. So the other towns have Founding Day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah. This has been great. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. I always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell you, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and... Living in the coolest town in the whole world, Beacon Town.
realize that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do love this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it, too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. I bet one of those would look awesome on the order hall's front lawn. Mmm, huh. seeing the world. Did that righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while though. Like I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Well I'm so glad you're here. Man that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock Jesse dude. Between you and me I am worried that I won't like fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make like a good first impression you know. Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business!
is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Jesse, I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. It's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh, wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side! That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> That's what Joey said. Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Ruben esque. Hmm? Definitely Esteban. He's got the most intelligent face. Really? I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic! Congratulations! <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Sweet. Bye! Makes me happy to see so many plants growing in Beacon Town. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? Sugar, nice. We're working on a new game for founding day that I guarantee you is going to be all the rage this year. Slime diving. <gasps> Want to give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? Yep. It's really cool. 
That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda bomb design, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Jesse's going to help us settle this. Wood's a classic choice. Let's go with that. Oh, that's really nice. Nice. That turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse. Woohoo! Woo! Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. What you looking at, citizen? Oh, huh, Jesse! Wow! Hi! Huh. And just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, uh, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? Doesn't fit. I think it's perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I love it. This just gives me even more to think about. Uh, okay then. We'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. Jesse. I am telling you, Stampy, it needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys. Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Well, why don't we have both? Oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I feel we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Huh. What a lovely garden.
He said cake, she said pie, and then I said, why don't we just have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? I well, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. <laughs> I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh, no. Thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Spitting in fate's eye. Just stop worrying so much, would you? Stop, stop worrying. Yeah. I can do that. It's so simple. Just stop worrying. Am I oversimplifying it? I'll, I'll work on it. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? So I can render it and get it up. And then you can record straight through. Got it? Alright. Come. Yeah, come in with the outro. Okay, peeps, if you like this video, let us know by hitting that like button. If you have not subscribed already, please do it now. That after you do that, it's a notification button. Bell, so you know what you gotta do. Click to join the notification squad. And after you subscribe, you will, you will get a shout out in a future video. If you let us know down in the comments that you subscribe, and I'll also have your link to the link to your channel in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, it took so long getting it out. I will get it rendered. It will be up before 4 o'clock tonight. It's coming. Bye, guys. You might go ahead. For you.